This 16 ounce lemonade has more sugar than this 16 ounce Coke. Lemonade is deceiving. It's from lemons, so we think it's a healthier option. But unfortunately, that just isn't always the case. Let's make our own so we're in control of the sugar that's added, if any at all. Combine your sweetener and water over medium heat until dissolved. You can use a sugar and calorie free option such as stevia, or you can use your favorite sweetener. Just keep in mind that these natural sweeteners still have just as much sugar as, if not more than, regular refined sugar. Luckily, you're in control of your homemade lemonade. Combine freshly squeezed lemon juice with your sweetened water and additional cold water. Refrigerate and serve cold. On a hot summer day, refresh yourself with a delicious homemade iced tea or sweet tea. Bring water to a simmer. If you want sweet tea, it's a good idea to add your sweetener now to be sure it completely dissolves. I'm using stevia, but anything will work. Add lemon slices to a pitcher. Then add simmering water that's sweetened if desired to the pitcher with the lemons. Now for the tea. You'll want your tea to be double strength so it's strong enough to combat the melting ice in your glass. I'm using family size tea bags, but regular size will work fine. You'll just need more. Add tea bags. Stir to combine and steep five to 10 minutes. Remove tea bags and refrigerate until cool. Serve over ice. A pina colada sounds so healthy and fresh. But did you know a pina colada cocktail has more calories than a Big Mac? We all know that alcohol has its own nutritional drawbacks, but the pre-made pina colada mixes, which are packed with added sugar and preservatives, are what really damage this drink's nutritional reputation. Today, we're cleaning out the junk. The fresh fruit is so sweet, we won't even need added sugar. To a blender, add in light coconut milk, unsweetened coconut shreds, chopped pineapple, frozen banana, vanilla, a pinch of salt, and crushed ice. If you don't want this virgin, you'll want to add your rum as well. Blend it on up. Pour into a glass and serve chilled. Did you know that a kiwi has as much potassium as a banana and twice as much vitamin C as an orange? They'll help you have radiant skin, sleep better, and support heart health. Fun fact, if you seal your kiwis in a paper bag away from the light and add an apple or a banana, ethylene gas will be released and speed up the ripening process of your kiwi. Sweet and delicious on its own, kiwi can easily become a refreshing summer drink. In your blender, add cubed kiwi, lime juice, water, and sweetener. Blend it on low, we don't want to blend the seeds. Strain the liquid of the pulp and seeds. You can keep that pulp and make ice treats if you'd like. Serve liquid over ice. If you're someone who needs their morning cup of joe, you may be craving something a little cooler on these hot days. Iced coffee is easy to make on your own. Combine ground coffee and water in a container. Allow it to sit overnight in the fridge. You want extra coffee to make this brew double strength. This way, it can combat the melting ice once it's in your glass. Stir your mixture and strain through a fine mesh strainer lined with cheesecloth. A coffee filter will work, but it will take a long time. Optional method, tie up the coffee in a filter and let it steep. It won't be as strong of a flavor, but it will be less of a mess. Serve over ice with a splash of milk or cream. Sangria is one of those refreshing summer beverages that can easily be healthified. It's packed with fruit and nutritious ingredients. Get creative with your favorites. 
like to add apples, oranges, lemons, limes, peaches, and plums. Also, I prefer small chopped fruit for my sangria, but you can keep full slices if you prefer. Add your fruit to your pitcher. For the base of your drink, you'll add grape juice, red for traditional or white for sangria blanca. Feel free to sub wine here for an alcoholic variation. Then add in apple juice, orange juice, and lemon juice. Stir and refrigerate three hours to overnight. When you're ready to enjoy, add seltzer water and stir. Serve over ice. If you've ever tasted watermelon, it's no surprise how this juicy and refreshing fruit got its name. Approximately 92% of a watermelon is water, making it a thirst-quenching option that's perfect for summer. Watermelon is also soaked with nutrients. It's loaded with lycopene, vitamin C, and antioxidants. For this refresher, you only need one ingredient, watermelon. This is one of my favorite easy summer drinks. Add cubed seedless watermelon to your blender. Blend it on up. Pour into a glass and devour. A Starbucks iced chai tea latte is so refreshing, but did you know a grande is loaded with 42 grams of sugar? That's because the base of the drink is a pre-made sugary mix. Let's make our own so you're in control of that sugar content. Bring water to a light boil, add sweetener and cinnamon, and stir until dissolved. Add tea bags to a pitcher. Add sweetened simmering water. Steep 10 to 15 minutes. Discard tea bags and refrigerate until cool. To serve, add ice to a glass, fill half with chai tea and half with your favorite milk. A Bellini cocktail is only made with two ingredients, peaches and Prosecco. We're upping the nutritional content by eliminating the alcohol and sticking with juice and natural fruit. I'll be using a no sugar added sparkling apple juice, but any sparkling juice you prefer is fine. Just be sure to read the label to make sure there's no added sugar. Peaches are high in fiber, potassium, and vitamin C, and help reduce LDL cholesterol, all of which can help prevent heart disease. To make your virgin bellini, add your chopped and peeled peaches to a blender. Puree. Add the puree to the bottom of a glass. Fill the rest halfway with your sparkling juice and half with seltzer water. Stir and enjoy. Porchetta. It's a delicious traditional Mexican beverage made with rice and it's so refreshing on those hot summer days. Today we're upping the nutrition by using brown rice as a base. Soak rice in water with cinnamon sticks for four hours to overnight. Discard the cinnamon sticks and blend the rice and water mixture along with sweetener and ground cinnamon on high for about three to five minutes until super finely ground. Add additional water and pulse to combine. Pour the mixture through a nut milk bag or a strainer lined with cheesecloth to get rid of any grainy bits or pulp. Chill the horchata before enjoying. It will separate, so stir before serving over ice. A green tea frappuccino is just what I need. If I want a sugar rush, there are 48 grams of sugar and 320 calories in a tall Starbucks green tea frappuccino. It's easy to think the sugary drink is healthy when it's made with matcha green tea powder. Matcha powder is loaded with antioxidants. 
In fact, matcha green tea powder has 10 times the antioxidant and nutritional benefit of a traditional cup of green tea. While it can be a little pricey, matcha powder is well worth the nutritional benefits, and a little goes a long way. It's said to burn fat, increase concentration, and boost energy. Combine ice, coconut milk, matcha green tea powder, sweetener of choice, and vanilla extract in a blender. Top with coconut whipped cream and devour. A healthy and vegan chocolate milkshake sounds like an oxymoron, but this recipe is totally real. We're using cacao powder today, which is a great source of antioxidants and contains an abundance of magnesium and iron. Cacao powder is the purest form of chocolate you can consume, so it's much less processed than cocoa powder or chocolate from bars. If you prefer to use cocoa powder, that will work just fine. Just be sure to buy plain powder that doesn't contain added sugar. Instead of ice cream in this milkshake, we're using nice cream, which is made from bananas. In your blender, combine bananas that have been frozen when very ripe. This makes them sweeter. Add cacao or cocoa powder, almond butter, and a pinch of salt. Begin to blend and slowly add your milk of choice as you go until you get a creamy milkshake texture. Serve with coconut whipped cream and devour. We're always looking for smoothie recipes, but the truth is, once you know how to make a base recipe, you can get as creative as you'd like, no recipe required. The five components of a smoothie are Produce. Start with your favorite fruits and feel free to make it green. The liquid base. Add one to two cups of your favorite liquid. The more juice the fruits have, the less liquid you'll need. Thicken it up. Get your preferred consistency with creamy ingredients like these and add nutrition. Flavor. Optional. Help to bring the flavor and sweetness beyond the fruity base without extra calories by adding natural sweeteners, herbs, and spices. Boost, also optional. Add even more nutrition with superfoods like these. Simply add your ingredients to a blender and let her rip. Serve and devour. Tropical fruits are not only delicious, they're also extremely nutritious. Tropical fruits are those that are grown in the tropics or warm climates. They are loaded with healthy nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. They help prevent dehydration, and studies have shown that many of these fruits can help your mood and make us feel better too. This vegan smoothie needs no added sugar. They call this nature's candy for a reason. Add coconut milk, coconut water, frozen banana, mango, and pineapple, and a little shredded coconut into your blender. Blend it on up. If you want to make this green, you could add spinach. And if you aren't a banana fan, try out avocado for delicious creaminess. Serve and devour. A Starbucks shaken ice peach green tea is delicious, but most nutritional benefits are countered by the shocking 20 grams of sugar found in a grande. Make that 32 grams if you get the peach green tea lemonade. We're making our own, so we're in control of that sugar content, making this nothing but natural, nutritious deliciousness. Add sliced peaches to a pot with water. Bring to a boil and use a wooden spoon to mash the peaches. Add sweetener and allow to dissolve. Simmer for about five minutes. Remove from the heat and steep green tea bags for an additional five minutes. Strain the liquid and feel free to keep the mashed peaches for smoothies or oats. Stir in lemon juice and allow to cool before refrigerating. Once chilled, serve over ice, or for a shaken ice peach tea lemonade, add half lemonade. 